Hello everybody. So Spitfire has released uh, another part of their Abbey Road Orchestra. Um, this is the cellos. Now what's cellos? Celli? Celli really? Anyway, it's cellos. Um, this is interesting uh, because it's the first time we've got, now we've got violins and we've got celli, cellos. Uh, it's the first time we can sort of put it together and start to hear how the whole thing might sound together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a sort of quick, a fairly sort of quick look tour of the thing um, and then we're just going to start writing some stuff and see what happens. So um, welcome to uh, the uh, Abbey Road Orchestra cellos. You get this perform extent this is the pro version you get the uh performance extended legato in other words that's um let's put my princess leia headphones on Ta -da! right um that gives you It gives you the velocity control different starts, so you can have a more assertive one or a and it switches by velocity through the several different types of um, legato which are built into that. Oh. Lyrical legato. The longs are rather lovely. Again, it's extended, so you get, if you play very softly. If you play softly, you get this soft attack, and if you play harder, you get a hard attack. Very playable. Oh, the signature sound, flautando. Uh, now you get um, four different types of shorts. There is spiccatissimo. There is spiccato, which is a little bit longer. Now these are both off the string, so they're bouncing. So uh, there's a limit to how softly they can go. You know, because if you're bouncing, if you're bouncing, you're going to be loud, just like me. But staccato is rather, actually quite nice and short. Listen. And you get the full dynamic range because it's on the string. Uh, Macato. Yep, that's good. Um, what else we got? Tremolando. Uh, long harmonics. Uh, pizzicato with snap pits on the top velocity. <laughs> Col I told you this was a whistle stop tour. Coldenio. Ooh, I like that. Uh, lots of trills. Minor second. Major second. Happy days. Minor third. Slightly fantastical. Major, major third, um, full on Gandalf. Full on Gandalf, don't be a ridiculous guy. Um, Tremolando measured, so you got two fast ones, sort of dugga 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 type thing. And then you got all the legato split out legato runs, legato detache, portamento, legato slur, de legato. Oh, God, exhausting. Okay, and then lyrical and performance at the end. Right. The <laughs> That is the walkthrough. Of the, there's the patch walkthrough. Thanks very much. See you next week. No, um, I didn't want to sort of labour the point because um, we've been over this with the violins, but also you know, we want to get into just using it because that's really where you see what it's like. Um, with all these, you get uh, control over vibrato, uh, reverb, tightness and release. Um, and there's all kinds of other little options down here. But really, the vibrato one's the most interesting. And... Um, I have assigned it to this little fader here, and uh, the so I can make the vibrato go up and down. So uh, there we go. Look, I'll show you. 
could we, if we go to, was it Super Source, that one there? Yes. Okay, so now you're going to see everything at once. Oh, hang on. Let's get this. Uh, let's try the longest end. There you go, Senza. Let's add the vibrato in. I rather like that. Okay, enough of all this faffin' guy. Let's get right in. Okay. I've got to have an idea now. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thanks very much indeed, Muse. That was my Muse just coming through with an idea for me. You've got to get one of these. They're just great. You know, really, really useful. When you're sitting there going, oh, I don't know what to do. You just get a Muse along and they'll kind of get you going. Right. Um, what the Muse suggested was uh, that... Oh. Where's it gone? How can, oh, that's annoying. It's just on the gap between uh, two pages. Oh no, there, two, there we go, two screens. Right, we're gonna start with, now, I'm gonna start with a, I'm gonna start with a short. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the spiccatissimo, the spiccato or the staccato. Uh, I just don't know yet. Let's start with the spiccatissimo. I think that's what most people would sort of kick off with. Oh, shall we have a bit of a click, guy? Otherwise, it, it's not only going to be naff, but it's going to be out of time as well. You can have one or the other, but you can't have both. Okay. It's quite forceful. It's, okay, let's see how we get on. going to do I mean <laughs> your muse phoned you up to give you that well it was you know it was a cut price little muse what well, I mean what can I what can I say it's a knockoff um, uh, it's not a real muse it's a sort of uh, cheap own brand muse so you just get bad ideas but at least it gets going um, okay where are we going to start maybe on bar one guy that's a nice idea right uh, let's have a little look at this um, Turn the soft one ties off. And there we go. Oh, go away, go away, go away. Oh, for goodness sake. I don't want to set up too well. I want to turn off this. Oh, that's an interesting. Hello, Cubase 13. I'm trying to turn off audio walk con uh, and soft one ties. Oh, yes, now I can do it. There, good. Um, pop, 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 pop. Right. Now, have I set... I have set the track delay for this already. Right, that'll do. Um, let's see what we can do with this now we've got it quantized i can do that and off we go okay now is that what i want i don't know the muse the muse was in a hurry didn't say just no oh, do quarter notes uh let's try staccato let's try if i can make it quieter because what i quite like is something super quiet to start with and then we'll see where it takes us. Right, here we go. Okay, well, let's go in there uh, because we have a pencil. Main volume, velocity. We can take down that and that and that. And maybe what happens if I take the whole thing down so it's super quiet? Yeah, that's quiet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think so. Oh, God. The trouble is I'm using too many different doors at the same time at the moment, so I keep on forgetting what I'm, what I'm supposed to be doing. Ah! Help! What's going on here? Why can't I go... Why? Well, what? That's, that, that must still work. That can't not work. Oh, dear. Okay. There we go. Let's get this going. Right. right. Now, what I'm going to do is add some violin to the top. Uh, let's get the violins up. Because I said we're going to do a bit of both. Okay, if we're going to do staccato with... Yeah, 
I'm going to stick the spiccato for this one. <laughs> it's like a small kitten was released on the keyboard. No! Yes. Now that's terrible, that's really, it's worse than where I started. Yep, I like that. Do I like it really? No, I'm just saying I like it to keep the muse happy. I'm sorry, you're not supposed to be listening in. You can't threaten to resign just because I'm nasty to you. Go back to Lidl. Where was I? Right, okay. Okay. So we got a bit of a violin going on there and we got a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a sort of very basic cello thing going on underneath. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a string extravaganza. What else is going to go on down here? I think there's... Are we going to start with a long ly lyrical line? Or are we going to start with some chord? The Batman! Go away, guys. Start again. It's all right, Hans. It's all right. It's all right. I'm not going to do that. Call the lawyers off. Thanks. Bye. That phone going all day long. Right. Where were we? Uh, okay. Tell you what. Now's a good opportunity to little have a look at some mic positions. Mic position. Uh, legato. That's long extended. Oh, I left it on long extended. No wonder it sounded a bit strange. Okay. Here we go. Up come the mic positions. We're going for mic two at the moment, uh, which is the slightly more present one. Let's try mics one, which is the uh, more ambient one. But it's still loading. Don't be impatient, guy. But I'm a naturally impatient person. Oh, you get a nice bit of room there. I tell you something. Um, I've recently got um, some fantastic fantastic new Adam speakers in my main studio uh, which you know and on that subject we will return um, and when I've been playing Abbey Road in the main studio you can really hear uh, the quality of the recording uh, it's class and it's really really nice and I'm not getting that on my headphones to be honest and you're probably not getting that via YouTube but yeah it's, it sounds a business okay Back to the records. Right, let's get rid of... Um, uh, mix 2 is a goner. You're dead to me, Mix 2. You're dead to me. Okay, and back to performance legato. Now, play something really moving and exciting, guy. like that actually to be absolutely honest it's all right right what are we doing here uh let's look at our you can't have two different mixes really it's going to sound like they're in two different rooms so we're going to put some contrapuntal violin one on the top it's still loading its little mic positions up
come in when you like, guy. Well, I will. It's my piece. What, what piece? It's a piece now, is it? It could go the opposite direction. That's not your worst idea you've ever had. And you did it without your muse. Ah! Guy! Tell you what, why don't you go for a long? You can get in so much less trouble going for a long. Uh, you may be right. Am I going to... Okay, so what am I going to... Could do some sense of vib. Hmm. Let's revert my rooms. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm on the right mic position here already. Let's... Oh, I don't know. You're not going to win an Oscar with this one. Yeah, don't tell me. Maybe. Um, something's going on here. Uh, this is where you get tempted to start throwing in the kitchen sink. So that... Um, uh, do we really want to throw the kitchen sink in? Was that Wayne from Bradford saying yes? Yeah, but Millicent from Miami says no. Sorry, Wayne. Um, right. Let's try swapping over to a bit of a pits moment here. Oh, oh, oh God! That is why I'm not that keen on having. Uh, oh God! Look at that! Look at that guy! Oh, honestly, you can't blame the samples for some naff playing. Um, no, but I'm not that keen on having the um, snap pits and the top velocity of the uh, ordinary pizzicato. To be honest. Okay. What I could do, what I could do. Okay, quick doubling up trick here. Boing! Um, what you can do, copy it to another track and then move it by a 16th note uh, to the... Uh, uh, let's get get me my zoom going on. So it's yeah, just into there. Then remerge it back, and then you've got it going. Right. See if that worked. That's nice. Oh, did you hear that piano coming in? Sorry, it's not your day piano. We'll have a piano day soon enough, but it's not today. Okay, now can I get... Oh, look. These are all too loud too. Guy, you're too loud. But the trouble is, there's no velocity pencil in your life, is there? No, there isn't. You're just loud. Yeah, but... Okay, is that going to sound awful? Let's see. That's right. Just check. Yeah, we got the old uh, offset. Good. Okay. Now we could do a little bit more funky stuff going on down the bottom here. I do like these cello longs. Okay, now uh, have I got enough of an octave to do, because um, this is where you'd use your, uh, uh, your bass of course, but we don't have one so we just have to go down to the bottom C. Helps Guy if you actually move with the rest of the orchestra. Oh, of course it does. Silly old me. There you go. 
So I had to go up an octave because it couldn't go. You can't go down a bottom C to a bottom D because a B because there isn't one. It's a goner. It doesn't exist. Um, right. Uh, what do we think? Okay, look. look. Uh, is there anything else I can throw into this? Oh yes, there's tons of things you can throw into this. <laughs> Oh, the drama. Oh, the excitement. Oh, the everything. Right. That's it. We're done. Look. So what do I think? What do I think? What do I think? Okay. Um, it's really good. It's, obviously, it's really good. Uh, you can hear it's kind of class act. Um, all the articulation worked really well. The legato is really, really, really good. And uh, those longs are absolutely super. And it has a really big dynamic range. And all the microphone positions, for once, really make sense. I'm not just getting... 48 million mic positions for the sake of it, including one left out in the car park by mistake. It's kind of, they all kind of carry it, cut their weight and all the rest of it. Um, passage of time, passage of time. As you can tell, it's a few hours later. Now, I'd already recorded the end of this um, little video when I got an email from Spitfire saying, actually, the price is not the same as it was for Violins 1. We've had a little rethink. And this is now £249. Whereas violins was £349. So that's a 30% reduction. That removes what I went on to talk about, which was the elephant in the room, which was, I think it's a bit exp too expensive, basically. Now, I mean, still, it's still a lot of money, particularly when you think, okay, we've got violin, we've got five, okay, you're going you're to have five <laughs> of these to make up the string section. But if you've got five of these at 249, that's more or less in line with top of the range um, orchestral tool stuff and VSL stuff and things like that. So it's in line with other people's, you know, big guns. Um, that said, it's still going to be, if you're going to go the whole hog, if you're going to dive in and do the full Abbey Road Orchestra Studio One, that is my sound, you're going to, you know, there's probably going to be at least, what, 15 of these? Um, because we've got five strings, and that's without mutes, so another five with mutes. We've got tune percussion yet to come. Brass, are they going to do the same? Uh, horns, trumpets, trombones, or low percussion altogether. That's another three. High low winds, low winds. Yeah, so it is still going to be a very significant investment. But I think this was a very sensible move, and this definitely puts it, you know, in line with others. And for a professional composer working on stuff which pays money it's a you know worthwhile investment um, the only other caveat which I, I think I mentioned last time was um, the the legatos and everything absolutely really really good and I like uh, I mean, the, those longs from the church was so expressive and really 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 great um, it, I'm not seeing as many articulations as for example with Spitfire chamber strings um, I think we've got 24 in, in, in this cellos, um, as opposed to, say, what is it, 20 in BBC, uh, BBC Professional for the cellos. And there are one or two um, articulations which are in the BBC one, which are not in this one, like, uh, what is it, short harmonics and things like that. So sometimes it does seem that they're a little short on articulation, but what is there is really, really good. So look. You pays your money, you takes your choice. Isn't it dark? Oh, what? Oh, my muse says it's time to go. Okay, well look, thank you very much indeed for your company. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, we'll be back with something completely different uh, uh, in a little while. And um, if you've enjoyed this, go and check out thinkspaceeducation.com because we do amazing courses and you're just gonna love them. One of them is just like this.
Is there a gap between that? There's and always gaps. You need to have gaps wherever you can, just so that an editor can come along with their scissors and go, right, cut, sure. cut, cut cut, 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 and frequently editors will piece your track together with some other track from a different publisher. You have to give them as many options as possible. Even a single hit, you've built it out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven layers. <laughs> it's, it's over the top, it's a bit silly, um, but it got the sound I wanted. It's all about layering. It has to fill the whole frequency because in cinema, you know, you've got the big speakers. Is it brass or is it in effect? Yeah, that's you know, because this is very close to a bra. I remember doing some hits and the sound source was me hitting my sofa with a flip-flop. That was the, the original sound source. Yeah, I think you, you also need to put your own spin on it. It will just set you apart from everyone else who was just reaching for the same old libraries that we can all afford and we can all get these days. You always have to go the extra mile, particularly in trailers, and really have to focus in on every detail. The production levels have got to be really, really high. I wanted to know a little bit more about you, actually. Choose from one of these four. A. Okay, you've chosen to take a walk on the wild side. You will learn a lot more about music technology and a lot more about your door just by doing the course. Ah, it works over the drone, which acts as a pedal, so harmonically it fits. There's enough movement to make it interesting. Not sure I would have chosen A. You're going to be able to do that by the time you get to the end of this course. Then make your choice, make your choice, and make your choice now.